Hey everybody, Kadono here. So, I've heard about RimWorld, and I've fiddled with it a tiny bit, but uh, I wanted to give it a look, so let's make a video about it. Uh, this is version 0 0.6.532. Um, it's Alpha 6, I, you know, but based on the numbers. It's not done yet, so don't buy it, unless you want to buy software that's not done, which I don't recommend. But I've, uh... This is the third or fourth time I have tried to record this video, and I don't know if this one's going to be real either. Um, I've been having a lot of issues getting 1080p recording working properly, and it looks like it had something to do with having multiple audio recordings going at the same time. I was separating out myself and the game so I could do some audio processing on myself and make my voice sound amazing, uh, but I'm probably not going to be able to do that on this video because I'm running out of patience. So, let's create a world. Let's start our seed be. How about the best seed? I've done this a couple of times. Uh, what size? Eh, 300 by 225. Why not? Okay, so we've got about half ice and about half not ice. Um, I tried making a... Uh, we don't make a colony here. We, uh, we'll, we'll just save and finish. So, let's create a new colony. Um, this is kind of, I think, the, the, like, thing that controls what events happen and stuff. So classic is, you know, steadily increasing curve of challenge and tension. Base builder, I think it gives you more time before the base, uh, before, like, negative events happen. And Randy Random, um, has random events occur, and they might not make sense, and they might be horrible. So let's do that! That's the name of our place. Select that. Okay, now we can look where we want to go. So, we can't do a tundra. Or, uh... You, know, you see, boreal forest biome not implemented. Tundra biome not implemented. See, the ones that really suck... Ice sheet is maybe implemented? I don't know. I'm actually sort of tempted. No, I'll check that out on my own later. Um... <laughs> let's... Let's pick something northern. Uh... You know, where it's cold, but not apparently tundra or boreal forest. Something with a coastline. How about that? That looks pretty good. I have no idea, really. So, now let's take a look at the world size. I'm tempted to make the world size bigger, but with the issues I've had capturing, maybe, maybe if we won't. If we end up making more than one of these, you know, we make more bases with more people we can do that, but for now, let's just do basic things. Um, I'm also tempted to just leave everything that we get, just because, to make it weird, but we need to make sure we have at least I wanted at least one female, right, to keep things interesting. Um, so we have a politician, a technician, and a biologist to start out with. Holy crap, 14 artistic. 9 research, 9 crafting, that's amazing. Oh, well, this guy's your social one. We don't need social people. Let's randomize. Randomize again. We're going to randomize till we get a female. There we go. Okay. We have an artist. Do we need an artist and another person that's not an artist that has a higher art level? I don't think so. Okay, here we go. Surgeon. There we go. Nine social, six medicine, eight artistic. Uh, okay, so Jennifer, as a child... An accident put Jen into a coma. She didn't wake up until she was in her late teens. Her body never recovered from the years of inactivity, but people tend to take pity on her when they hear her story. So we've got construction minus two, minus mining minus two, social plus five. Glitter world surgeon uh, on a world mostly free of disease and suffering. Her job mostly involved elaborate and creative cosmetic surgeries. She has a good understanding of human biology, but never had to remove a cancer or a bullet. Social plus one. Medicine plus three, artistic plus five. She is neurotic. Jen likes to have things squared away. She will work harder than most to attain the state of affairs, but her nerves get the better of her. Work speed plus 15, mental break threshold six. And steadfast. Jen is mentally tough and won't break down under stresses that would crack most people. Excellent. So, we have Weedles. That's a great name. Frederick Weedles. Jennifer Jen. That's a great name too, honestly. <laughs> Frederick Weedles McWheatley. Frederick McWheatley Weedles. I don't know how, how I'm supposed to read this. Ah, oh, whatever. Um, what's this say? Oh, the character's last name. So this is, it is first. 
the shore identifier. So we've got Frederick, aka Wheatles, McWheatley. Uh, okay, okay, I'll give that. Male, 29. So she's 20, he's 29, and he's 68. So our biologist is the grumpy old man. Uh, Herb World Hooligan, except he's not a grumpy old man because he's an artist. Let's see. Uh, Weedles grew up in a dangerous herb world. He quickly learned how to get through get his daily meal by crime. Such meads left little to no space for cooking and growing activities. Shooting plus two, melee plus three, cooking minus three. Plant cutting disabled, growing disabled. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Well, he's gonna probably be in the military eventually. Uh, space technician. Weedles finally managed to flee his his criminal life by getting a maintenance job in a nearby space station. He performed multiple repairing and building operations. He also used to participate in basic research activities and often defused co-workers' arguments. He never liked doing art. Instruction plus five, research plus one, mining plus two, social plus one, art disabled. Holy crap. This guy can't do a lot of things. That's okay. That's interesting. Incapable of artistic and plant work. Traits optimist. He's naturally optimistic about life and slothful. He's lazy. Work speed minus 30%. Alright, Frederick. Alright, Weedles. We'll see how you do. Alright, so Joshua Gizmo Nelson um, is a genome sculptor. He was engineering a lab as part of a genome project. He was implanted at birth with encyclopedic knowledge of all aspects of xenobiology. The genome scientists nicknamed him Gizmo and occupied him with sculpting. He developed a love of sculpting gnomes and gnome accessories. <laughs> of course he did. Uh, research plus two, social plus two, cooking minus five, artistic plus four, crafting plus two, cooking and cleaning disabled. So we have one person who cannot cook nor clean, and we have him who cannot, what is it, grow or, pl or plant. So this is meaning that Jen is probably going to end, our surgeon is probably going to have to be our farmer because these guys don't know shit. All right, incapable of cooking, firefighting, and cleaning. And he's sanguine. He's naturally upbeat. So the two guys that can't do stuff are happy. Um, all right, all right, let's, let's get it going. And I just hope the frame rate doesn't take a dive when I hit go. It looks like it's working. All right, if there's hitching, I apologize, but otherwise, I think we're all right. The three of you, the implication is that I'm one of them, but I, I'm not one of them. Anyway, the three of you awake in your cryo sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. Okay, so here's our escape pods. Alright, let's take a look at our friends here. I'm going to pause the game. So we've got Jen. Jennifer Jen. Who uh, looks to be in a, like, leather coat or something. Well, they all are. Well, Weedles isn't. Uh, Gizmo has pink hair. That's an interesting identifier, I suppose. And Weedles is kind of buff looking. Has a purple, not purple, I, I'm good at colors. He has purple hair, purple pink. But this is kind of a, a urine yellow color. All right, so before we start anything, I believe it was Weedles who's our shooter, right? Yeah, so we're going to start out by giving him the gun. <laughs> uh, just in case stuff hits the fan. We're going to give Jen this pistol. And we're going to give Gizmo this pistol. Whoop. Gizmo this pistol. Uh, every Otherwise, let's uh, keep things going. Let's make it so they can use these resources that probably fell down with us since they're in sort of the same spot. Um... Yeah, we'll do everything. We'll do the stone. Yeah, the problem, the reason you don't want to necessarily do everything is that then they'll put everything in stockpiles. And for packaged survival meals, that's actually important. Um, and, you know, for metal, you're going to use metal. So, like these we want to allow. Or at least I want to allow. Maybe this is a bad idea. I don't know. You can tell me in the comments below. All right, let's get this going. Um, we're going to use these kind of as a guide since I don't know what I'm doing. This feels a lot like Dwarf Fortress to me. Um, so I'm going to treat it like Dwarf Fortress, even if that's a bad idea. So, yeah. Uh, if there's some way of digging down in this game, I haven't found it. If there is, please let me know. So we have stockpiles, and we can tell the stockpile what's in it. 
for now, this is going to be a catch-all stockpile, um, except for humanoid corpses. Okay, I'm going to turn off corpses. Um, and then we're going to make a second stockpile. So we're, our base will be, let's say, near this pond, and we'll mine. We'll probably try to build it. Ah, you know what? We should move over this way. I think having the base right here would be better, because we'd be kind of near everything. I might be wrong. I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm actually going to dig up the stockpile. Delete. Uh, we'll put it over here. Do a stockpile just kind of right here for now. That's too big. Uh, we'll take off corpses, like I was saying. And then, let's say up by the mine. Oh, well, got more metal we can allow. Up by the mine, we can put a, another stockpile. And have that be kind of our... Not our dump, because there is a literal dump as well. Uh, the dump does not work the way that... Um, we'll turn off all of the useful stuff. Turn on corpses. What are chunks? Yeah, we don't want chunks. Um, so we want rotten stuff and corpses. Right? Maybe? Okay. Um, and then a dumping stockpile where they store junk. So I think... Okay, so in Dwarf Fortress, again, I, I'm going to call back to this too often. I'm sure of it, and I apologize. But in Dwarf Fortress, I would make a one-by-one -one dumping stockpile, or dump, and then they would stack everything in that. I don't think this works that way. I tried doing that, and it didn't seem to work. Oh, never mind. See, here I am. Here I am trying to manually do this, and this is just the same thing. Okay. We'll just delete that. And we'll delete that. See, I don't know everything about this game. I did not, I did not come in here with uh, a bunch of free knowledge. What am I doing? What? Dumping stockpile. So, it's not the same as a dump in the sense of the Dwarf Fortress dump. I know that now, because it would be named that. Um, let's check out where our home region is. Can we view the home region? How do we view the home region? I click remove home region. Okay, well. Let's build a building. Um, so I don't know what the optimal sizes are for anything here. We're going to take this over. I don't know how to do that either. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out together. Or I'll read the wiki. Alright, so we need to let them kind of gather stuff for a little while. Turn the speed up a bit. Um, so we can get some wood and they can start building things. In the meantime, let's tell them to chop down wood. This is the mistake I make in uh, in Dwarf Fortress as well. I, I over allocate stuff. There's not a whole lot of berries. I'm telling them to, to pick food right now. There's really not that much. Okay, Gizmo is chopping down some trees. So where should our how should our base look? There's a there's a planning. Yeah, I can do this while they're doing stuff. Where is the planning part? Plan. Okay, so we'll use this somehow. I don't know how, but we'll build um off of that. Let's say like right there, right there, and right there. And I accidentally made a double. Right, and then a bed. We'll go there and there. And there. So this will be a good dormitory kind of beginning thing. Except that'll put the door on this side. So maybe we want to put the door on the other side. So put a bit there, there, and there. Um, just the plans here. And then we can put more things up this way. And But if we do that, we're going to want like the kitchen and stuff kind of in this area. I don't know that this will be the actual size. Uh, we're going to have the door out the back, which means we want the growing zones here, which is what I was getting at. All right. So let's create a couple of growing zones. Um, I think by default we get potatoes. Oop, pause. Yeah, we get potatoes. Let's rename this to Potato Farm Alpha. Yeah, as in like the first one. All right, and then I'm going to keep it paused while I make the other growing zone. Because Jen seems to be on top of shit. 
Man, Jen, prime worker. Any one of these two men would be, should be, you know, happy to have Jen around. Okay, so I know we can plant potatoes and strawberries, and those are food. I, I, I've, I haven't tried rose, days, daylilies, or dandelions. I don't know what they do. And I did try in an earlier game, I tried doing, well, an earlier iteration of this video that didn't work. Thank you, video recording software that I don't know how to use. Well, I, I do, but, well, anyways. Um, the trees, I, I made growing zones for the trees, but it just, nothing happened. Like, they didn't ever use them and set them up, so, no idea. Um, alright, well, let's rename this one. We're gonna call this Strawberry Patch Alpha. See? I'm, I'm really clever with my naming. Um, so, okay, we've got some wood now, so it's not gonna gripe at me. Let's start building some rooms. Because right now, if they get tired, the only place they can sleep is on the wall. On the wall. On the floor. See, I'm just saying the things that I see. So, let's see. I'm just going to look over this stuff real quick. So we can eventually build a ship. I think the, the goal of this game is to build a ship and get off the planet. Which is no small feat. If you think about it. Like, you drop to a place and you have kind of nothing. And like, yeah, your goal is to, to start chopping down trees and get to the point where you can build an intergalactic space, well, an interplanetary spaceship. An intersystem. I wonder if it'll qualify this as a room, even though I didn't build this wall. I bet it will. And I shouldn't have had the walls go all the way around. So we're going to cancel that one spot. And I should have put a door there. Eh, planning 101. Alright, where are the doors? Structure? Wood door. Click. And click. Okay. Let's see. We need to tell them to move these stones. Home regions. Find the home region under the zone. Okay. Well, it has a home region here. That, that's that's about right. Okay, that's probably good for now. Interesting that he decided to build the door where there was a wall before he built the door where there was not a door. Now they need to get these rocks out of here. Okay, good. It did register it as a room. That's good. Can we name the room? That would be neat. Um. I don't think we can. I can look at the wall, but I can't, like, click on the room. Unless I, I'm missing something. Alright, the other thing we need to start worrying about is power. Right? So, I do not see geothermal power. Sorry, you're probably seeing a lot of hitching when I do this. Okay, so there's some steam vents here and here. That's a ways away. Uh, there's some food over here, too. I should probably... Yeah, let's just kind of get a look. We can do some hunting over here. Um, we've got our potato plants are already starting to grow. This is great. Jen is being amazing. The number one useful person on the team right now. But it looks like either Weedles or Gizmo hauled away the rocks. So now we can get around to building a floor. I'm a big fan of wood floors. Nice quality finish. A little bit echoey, but you know, you know, it, it's, it's not the worst. Like, I've, I've lived in places with wood floors that you can, you know, like the echo can be annoying. Uh, I'll be honest. Um, the actual room I'm in right now, I put up baffling like on the walls because it was too echoey in here and this has carpet. Uh, but you can, if you, you know, use drapes and stuff like effectively, you can have a wooden floor and not have it echo like crazy. And that's good. There are still little rocks and pebbles here. But anyways, we're just about done here with our bedrooms, uh, with our, not bedrooms, this is really more of, how do I rotate? I forget. Is it right click? No. Oh, it's Q and E. See, I always forget the giant thing sitting here. Uh, we're gonna make our dormitory. And they don't particularly like living in a dormitory. Um, and we'll have lamps for once we have power. And I can understand why they wouldn't like living in a dormitory, but 
it is a cheap, efficient way to get started, and it's the way I always play Dwarf Fortress. And so it is, and so it shall be. Alright, we're going to build that. I don't know that we actually even have the re... Oh, we do. We have the resources for it. And I don't really... You know, it gets dark at night, so why don't we build a couple of batteries? Um, I think I can just stack them like this. I don't know how many I need. But I do know I need wires. So they'll... they'll um, I also don't know if like putting the batteries next to the house is smart, or if putting the batteries away from the house is smart, but instinctively, I, I would think... Uh, Weedles is tired. Look at that. Um, we Gizmo Gizmo is getting some quality time with Jen, our MVP of the uh, of the place. If there is a spaceship at the end of this series, it is entirely because of Jen and nobody else. And Jen is cleaning, cleaning outside. Good job, Jen. I think it's a little bit redundant, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. It'd be nice if. Um, if anybody... Okay, okay. Weedles is hauling some some metal over. It looks like we've got some wire getting laid down. A battery built. Alright, things are moving along. Food's going to become an issue soon, though. So we should start building our kitchen. Uh, I think... I'm going to wait. I have a bad habit of getting way too far ahead of my... What's Jen doing? Huh. Can they not get at the beds? Is there only one built? I should get rid of remove this planning. I can see what's going on. Yeah! They haven't built the beds yet. Weedles is the only one with a bed. That's why he was sleeping there. Now where did... Oh, man. Gizmo was like, screw you guys. I'm sleeping in this old stone structure that was here when we landed. Weedles gets up first because of course he would. He got to sleep on the only bed. But that's what I mean. Is I should not be queuing stuff up right now until they get stuff like their beds built. Uh, and once that happens, then we can keep going. I actually really like games like this, and I hope that my capturing setup is going to keep working. Uh, this is a... what is this? This is a red... This is a boom rat. Do we have any information on boom rats? Either by deliberate genetic weaponization, uh, okay, or an unusual defense mechanism, these rodent-like creatures create a powerful fire-starting explosion when killed. Are they dangerous? Should I... Should I shoot it? Who's our who's our gunner? It's Weedles, right? I can't tell him to shoot things until unless I draft him. I don't want to draft him because then he can't do any other work. So we're just gonna hope that if things need to happen, they'll happen. Now we can also install um, defenses. See, it says here needs defenses. Uh, you should probably all right. You've been here for quite some time, probably have been seen. Pirate raids will start soon. Okay, so we should build security, improvised turret. So now if we zoom out a bit, you can see kind of the area that this covers. That's a lot bigger area than I thought it was. Okay. Um, and they need power too. So let's build... Oh, we need more metal. Okay, well, never mind then. We're not going to build anything. Let's give a little mining order. About right here. This seems like the part we build first, so we'll, we'll mine there first. Probably move our stockpile in, too. Now that we have a building actually being built. Just leave that there. Disable corpses. Delete that stockpile. It's like magic. Gizmo and Weedles are out there mining, getting some metal. They have power now, so they, they have they have lights. Still short on beds. You know why they're probably short on beds? Is that there's no wood, because I've been doing a bad job managing things. So, let's chop some wood. Um, and then I'm going to build a growing zone for trees. I don't know if it works. I haven't had it work before, but maybe it will. Let's make it bigger. Because trees are helpful. Pause. Alright, grow uh, oak or poplar? Let's go with oak, because oak is a better building material, though I don't know if it matters. And we will name this um, Oaken Village. There we go. 
The zone is now called Oaken Village. Jen's heading out somewhere. Oh, looks like we're low on power. Okay, so we don't quite make it through the night with, uh... This isn't even on. What's going on here? Okay. We don't quite make it through the night with our one solar battery power. Okay, so Jen is planting trees. It looks like they need one space in between each... Um... Wonder if it... Okay, so that might... So multiple... The size here does matter. I'm a little curious if she needs seeds or something. Okay, she's eating. These guys are still mining. Okay, so uh, it does... Um, dimensions do matter because it looks like each tree needs one space to each side. Okay, so this should be fine. We should have three columns of trees when they're done. Uh, yeah, so let's start building a kitchen. Um, we should probably build defenses pretty soon, too. Haul things? I don't know where they haul them to. I just said, hey, haul. Hey, a second bed! Gizmo claims a second bed because... Too bad for Jen. Even though she's the only one... Well, the most productive person. I guess I'm not being fair. Okay, so this is where they haul them to, is the junk. So we might need to make that bigger. Soon. Question is, do we focus on defenses first or meals? Guns or butter? That's always the question, isn't it? At the end of the day, it's always do we buy more guns or do we buy more social programs? And that's not even a political statement, it's just true. <laughs> uh, but we're going to start with guns. Well, I, I, so how should we do guns? Should we do a couple. I kind of want to set up a perimeter, but that'd be really expensive. So how about instead. We'll put a gun... I mean, if, if it really shoots that far, that's a long ways. Okay, we'll put... We'll put a gun right there. And right there to kind of protect the main... center of the base. And then from there we can kind of improvise. If we have people... You know, if they run back... This is in the home zone. If we look... Add home region. See, this kind of the part we need to protect. They might destroy that. That would suck. So maybe we should put another one down. We'll put one. Try to put it in range so I don't have to run any wiring. Because I'm lazy. There we go. I don't know how effective these are either. Or if we have enough metal. We, we need 160 times 3. Uh, I think we have enough metal. That's ooh, 320. Yeah, we're cutting it close, but we have enough. So... Well, Weedles is busy. Jen is planting our tree farm. Jen, why did you put a tree here? Jen, that does not seem like very efficient spacing for the trees. Um, we have no stones. Do we need stones? We really haven't needed stones yet. We have these stones over here. Oh, man, we should... These should be available if we need them. All right, we should probably mine out some more because we're running a little bit lower on metal. That's probably enough. Um, Jen is working away. Apparently these trees take a long time to plant, but it seems like when she's done planting them, they're the same size she is. Oh, we can see the percentage growth. That's nice. Uh, looks like the potatoes are nearly done. Oh, and Jen is on top of it. Man. Jen is the boss. Okay, we're going to build a stockpile here um, in what's going to be the kitchen, but isn't yet. That only accepts food. Uh, we're going to put this on... Preferred. Uh, we only want food. This is going to be kind of our food input. Well, actually, no. This will be... Yeah, it'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. This will be our food area. Did I, I did it all. Yeah, okay. So she'll dump stuff in here and we'll be good. I think it's time to start building the kitchen. We don't have enough wood, but that's okay. We'll just chop down some more. Gizmo is busy out here mining. See, they've already got some logs they can cut. They already have some logs they have cut. So we're, we're still in pretty good shape for wood. 
We've got two messages. An unstable butcher from the fortune tellers community is passing by. Is he is named Jonathan John Medcalf? Okay. He looks sketchy. Let's look at him. The farm. What's an unstable butcher? He's been hearing voices. The animals have been talking to him, etc., etc. Okay. He's very neurotic. Well, he's got a pump shotgun and silver, but no armor. So should I attack him? Everyone knows that you don't want to stay on this rock for long. But Gizmo is suggesting that you give the colony a name. What should we call it? Fallville? I don't like the name Fallville. What should we call it? We should call it... Um, Trapped Valley. Uh, no, that's not a very good name. We should call it... Um, I, I want to call it Kadono or something, but that seems like kind of a dumb thing to do. Uh, we'll call it Jen's Farm. Jen's Collective. There we go. Jen actually lives here, so it sort of makes sense. I think he just dropped that silver. Let me check. Nope, that wasn't him. Never mind. We're all asleep. We've run out of power. build another power well let's not build we have enough power for now we'll build another power plant shortly though once we try to get this kitchen going because we're going to need more power again nothing geothermal anywhere nearby that might have been poor planning on my part picking out this location with no geothermal power oh my i've been recording for a long time see how wrapped up in this i get all right so We'll find out what, uh, I've got it paused now. We'll find out. I'm going to save so I don't forget, just in case this one is for real. Save. Um, we'll find out what happens to the folks of Jen's Collective, including Jen, Gizmo, and Weedles, after, um, uh, after, I don't know, it'll be about a week. But hopefully this video does not look too terrible. Hopefully the frame rate is acceptable. If you, if it's not, I apologize. And I hope the next one will be better. I've been improving it bit by bit. That's you shouldn't. You should see the first one. It is. It is really, really bad. I've already deleted it. But we've already got food and we've got some defenses. What could possibly go wrong? Find out next time.